This is what happened one day when the ice cream van stopped by Tufty's house. Ice cream! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most disturbing British adverts. We've had a couple of reports of neglect at this address. All we're going to do is have a little look around your cupboard. This is a bit of an oh, stuck right at the back. Oh. Who knows how long that's been in here? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at the adverts that somehow made it onto British TV despite traumatizing a generation. We will also be including public information films and PSAs. Let us know in the comments which classic ads you still have nightmares about. Number 10. Bernardo's Adverts This isn't just one ad, but various ads produced by Bernardo's over the years. Bernardo's is a charity that helps vulnerable children, and its ads need to be memorable so that people remember the name and donate, but they can still make for upsetting viewing. One ad called Break the Cycle showed a young girl's distressing home and school life, culminating in her going to prison for assault. 20 quid. <laughs> Worthless. 20 quid. Worthless. 20 quid. <laughs> Another shows a man's life in rewind as he works through a childhood of neglect and anger issues. What? I trust her. Don't trust no one. I ain't changing. They laughed at me. They said I was thick. Can we say that again? Mommy's boyfriend hears me. I'm scared. Though they all talk about the positive effects intervention can have in a child's safety, they're still hard to watch. Number 9. Yo, all fridges can kill. Even today, fridges child. can potentially be caravan, dangerous, though the, ship, the situation was significantly castle, worse in the 70s and, and earlier. This ad Air was made to educate to people of the inside. hidden dangers of Don't fridges, specifically fridge fridges that people had fly-tipped in public places. Door. To you, it's just a worn-out fridge, but to a child, it's a caravan, a ship, a castle, even a bed, and a death trap, airtight and impossible to open from the inside. If a child got into one of these old-fashioned fridges while playing make-believe, the door could potentially close and lock, leading to many fatal incidents. Don't let an old fridge be a new danger to children. Take off the door. Or smash the lock. It was a frightening ad at the time, but it's even more disturbing today when we're so used to fridges that don't have locks on the doors. It's shocking to think this used to happen. Ask your local council to take it away or tell you how to dispose of it before it kills a child. Number 8. Lonely Water Fridges may not be too dangerous anymore, but unsupervised bodies of water certainly are. This ad, yet another product of the 1970s, when there was apparently no health and safety or common sense whatsoever, featured the Grim Reaper preying on children near lakes and rivers. I am the spirit of dark and lonely water, ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. Though there were clear signs warning kids not to swim shown in the ad, the Grim Reaper is still there waiting for them to fall into the water and suffer a lethal accident. The show-offs are easy, but the unwary ones are easier still. This branch is weak, rotten. It'll never take his way. You'll never want to swim again, regardless of whether it's in a proper swimming pool or a filthy body of wastewater surrounded by rubbish. Under the water there are traps, old cars, bedsteads, weeds, hidden depths. It's the perfect place for an accident. Number 7. Marmite Rescue Unit Animal neglect is no laughing matter, and someone probably should have told Marmite's advertising department that long before they threw this ad together. We've had a couple of reports of neglect at this address. All we're going to do is have a little look around your cupboard. This is a bit of an oh, stuck right at the back. Oh. Who knows how long that's been in here? Made to parody reality shows that follow the police or RSPCA, we're with a Marmite rescue unit who arrive at people's homes and save their neglected jars of Marmites. 
As the team have come to learn, offenders can be from all walks of life. I promise he will go to a, to a good home. I'm sorry. It was wildly controversial because it appears to make light of actual cases of neglect and abuse in people's homes. Oh no. What's um, the matter? It's baby one. Okay, don't panic. It's not been used in months. All right. Lid stuck. All right, gently, gently. Oh, I can, I can change. Clearly, this could be distressing to anybody who's actually been through such an experience, and it got hundreds of complaints. Plus, who wants to eat a jar of Marmite that someone else has had gathering dust in the cupboard for years anyway? After an emotional day, the team drop off the rescue jars at the rehoming centre. I really love this one. Okay. Yeah. Where a proud family welcomes their new addition. Number 6. Flying Cat This ad got Paddy Power on the wrong side of the ASA once again. But this time, it was for allegedly promoting animal cruelty. We see men at a football match all playing blindfolded when somebody kicks the ball out of the pitch. A scared cat runs in and, though we don't actually see what happens, we see a man kick and then the cat yells. Paddy Power presumably thought that not showing the cat flying through the air would stop the regulators from going after them. This was true, the ad didn't get pulled, but the public complained en masse and probably weren't going to Paddy Power when they wanted to place a bet. Paddy Power can't get Tiddles back. There's nothing we can do about that. But we can get you your money back with our money back specials. Number 5. Dog Breath this ad is disturbing simply because it's gross. If it came on TV while you happen to be eating, it may well have put you off your food. We see a man wake up after what looks like an eventful night out. He's still fully clothed, dirty, hungover, and has fallen asleep in the remains of a kebab on the sofa. Very classy. But it gets worse when he vomits up an entire filthy dog onto the living room carpet. We understand it's trying to make a point about how awful your breath would be after a night of drinking and kebab eating, but that didn't stop the ad receiving plenty of complaints when it first aired in 2003. It was ultimately pulled. See you, darling. Number 4. Tufty the Squirrel Road safety ads can often be highly upsetting and can show more graphic violence than should really be acceptable on TV. But Tufty the Squirrel was disturbing for another reason. This is what happened one day when the ice cream van stopped by Tufty's house. Ice cream! This ad campaign from the 1970s, which worked on teaching kids the rules of the Green Cross Code, had some truly uncanny squirrel puppets. Tufty was used as a road safety mascot for decades, but this iteration was genuinely frightening. Oh dear! Oh, mummy! Willie has been knocked down by a car! Now Willie has been hurt. Featuring wide, horrified eyes and constantly at risk of getting hit by a car, Tufty may well scare you into remembering to look both ways before you cross the road. Look at the ball. Just think what might have happened to Tufty or Bobby if they had run into the road. The ad probably worked in that regard. Number 3. Bedtime Story There was once a land where the weather was very, very strange. There were awful heat waves in some parts and in others terrible storms and floods. Did you know that you and you alone are responsible for climate change? Well, not really, but that's the message this government PSA is trying to get across. Some places could even disappear under the sea, and it was the children of the land who'd have to live with the horrible consequences. We see a father reading a story to his daughter about the horrific effects of global warming, including the deaths of her pets, as he describes how 40% of carbon emissions come from ordinary households. They discovered 
that over 40% of the CO2 was coming from ordinary everyday things like keeping houses warm and driving cars. Now, not only is this advert very upsetting, especially to young kids, but it's also not exactly true. Is there a happy ending? It's really the energy companies who should be getting their power from renewable sources, rather than climate change being the fault of regular people having their lights turned on. Number 2. Ghost Girl Oh dear. The Samsung Taco Icon is only $59.95 on pay as you go. Phones for You did a whole series of horror themed ads back in 2011, but the most notorious of all was one with a frightening ghost girl. The ad shows a woman walking through a car park late at night, getting pursued by something supernatural. We see the ghost a few times until it finally appears at the car window, looking like Wednesday Adams. It turns out the ghost doesn't want to harm the woman, just sell her a cheap Samsung Toco icon. But who wants to buy a phone from a ghost? Hello, the Samsung Toco icon is only $59.95 on pay as you go. Phones for you, missing our deals will haunt you. Phones for You was banned from showing the ad around any TV shows children might be watching, but it still garnered hundreds of complaints to the ASA. Number 1. Hooked The NHS has spent years trying to convince people to quit smoking, and this advert might be the most infamous one it has ever produced. It aims to show how detrimental a cigarette craving can be on someone's life, as a man is forcibly dragged from his office desk by a fish hook through his cheek. The campaign also appeared in other ads, all showing people in the process of being dragged around by the hook with shocking smoking statistics displayed. The ads were eventually banned for being too graphic, particularly to children who saw them, though smoking rates are still decreasing in the UK year on year. The average smoker needs over 5,000 cigarettes a year. Get unhooked. Call 0800 169 0169. We're sure this gruesome ad had a lot to do with that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.